Hello. This is just a very quick demo of some software called W Panorama. It's free software. And it allows you to take your photographs and view them in a panoramic way. So I take a full screen there. You can see it's just it has this, it takes your photographs and basically just moves them from left to right or from right to left or even up and down. So if I was to take a single image, so I'm going to load an image, I'm going to go So I'm going to take a simple cartoon image that I created with Bryce. And you can see that it moves it left and right. So I want this to scroll continuously. So there is an icon here which says add a mirror image. I'll just speed that up a little bit. It's a bit fast. Now you can see that I get this continuous scrolling effect, which is great if you're into making an animations and cartoons and you just want some background behind your characters to actually move. Now, if you wanted to actually use photographs that you stitch together, you could actually do it online if you want by going to something called Dermanda. And this allows you to create your panoramas. I think you're possibly limit to, limited to about 100 panoramas that you're allowed to create. So you can actually create them with a, a piece of software called Hugin or Hugin. So very quickly, I'll just show you how, how you can do this. So I'm going to go into view and I'm going to go to fast preview. I'm going to load some images up here and again I shall go to my Bryce saved animations and this time I'm going to press the shift key I'm going to oh, don't want all those I'm just going to select these Mars images now I tend to put a value of 30 or 40 in here, but it's up to you what you put in. See what gives you the best results. And it's basically, it's going to stitch these images together. So if I go into create a panorama, and over here I'm going to specify JPEG format. Okay, that. And before it creates that, it has to save the project. So I'll just press OK. And I'm going to save that in pictures. So it will create the project called Mars One Mars. And it will save the image file as the same name, but as a JPEG. So it's now running a batch program to create that. So I'll just come out of there. Now when I go into Panorama, I can actually load the image. And here is this panoramic JPEG that I've just created. And now you can see I now get this stitched image moving around my screen. It's also quite useful that you can actually go into Screensaver and create yourself a screensaver from whatever, whatever you've got in here. You just go to Configure Screensaver, specify what it, whatever the file is, and create it from there. So it may be something you want to play with, try it out. It may be something you've never seen before. So hopefully you found that of use. So, thank you for watching.